Okay, today the Supreme Court handed down a decision in an important copyright case involving ABC, the TV network, and Aereo. Aereo is an internet startup that provides a service to its subscribers to receive free broadcast TV programs over the internet. And the, the technology of Aereo is somewhat complicated, but the basics of it is that Aereo provides a remote antenna system that assigns each of its subscribers a very small antenna for that subscriber to elect to receive whatever broadcast shows are being aired at the time, but all through the internet. Now the basic question the Supreme Court considered was whether Aereo service violated the copyrights of ABC and the other broadcast networks by allegedly constituting a public performance of the network's programs without licenses. In a 6-3 decision, the Supreme Court said yes, Aereo's service does violate the copyrights of ABC and the other networks. Now, the result of that decision may not have been that surprising to copyright experts, but the lineup of justices probably was. Justice Breyer, who in the past has been quite skeptical of broad interpretations of copyright law, actually came out on the side of the copyright holders in this case, and he wrote the majority decision in which five other justices joined. Now, one of the most fascinating aspects of the majority decision and its debate with the dissenting opinion of Justice Scalia was over a very simple question. Who was performing the TV network's programs through Aereo service? Was it Aereo or was it Aereo subscribers? because this case only involved a claim of direct liability as the case that went up to the Supreme Court. Justice Breyer, writing for the majority, held that yes, it is Aereo performing the works when it is received into Aereo's uh, service, but Justice Breyer admitted the Copyright Act, the text of the Copyright Act, is actually unclear on this issue. So Justice Breyer relied heavily on legislative history of the 1976 Act the Copyright Act now in force, and he interpreted the legislative history to show that Congress at that time intended to include within the definition of public performance the retransmissions of broadcast TV programs by cable companies. And therefore, Aereo's service operated much like a cable company's retransmission of those broadcast programs, and therefore Aereo service constituted public performance. Justice Scalia, however, disagreed and wrote a vigorous dissent. Scalia first attacked the court's use of legislative history as improper, and that's a long-standing position of Justice Scalia in terms of statutory interpretation. And then Justice Scalia went on to attack the analogy to cable companies as being flawed and unworkable. Uh, a standard that he sort of likened to, it looks like cable TV. Justice Scalia said that that standard won't be workable in future cases. And then finally, Justice Scalia emphasized that unlike cable companies, Aereo doesn't actually choose whatever content the subscribers elect to watch. That's totally up to the uh, subscribers of Aereo and not Aereo, and therefore, Aereo should not be considered to be performing the works. But in the end, uh, Justice Breyer's view prevailed, and ABC and the networks won the case. So what does this mean for Aereo, the young startup company? Well, Aereo probably has to change its business model or go out of business. It doesn't seem like there are many options left for it.